one of my favorite games of 2018 that I think most people did not even know it existed. This is Super Daryl Deluxe, an action-adventure slash platformer game that I believe this was a kickstarted title. We played it on and off th when it first came out, but I think most people have probably forgotten about it. So, as the year begins to wind down, I figure do a little return to this game and maybe give it a little bit more of a boost for people who missed it the first time around. I guess the simplest way to describe this game is kind of like Napoleon Dynamite meets uh, an RPG. Or an action game, I should say. Yeah, I've had one for the last year or so. <laughs> and this is a surreal game, by the way. have either one of those. Hmm. <laughs> Alright. This is our hero, Daryl. So our powers are tied to the bottom left, and they're thrown into various different abilities. And he doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Teleport, lightning. Back. We have to try and create or combo as best we can with our abilities. And we'll get a lot more as time goes on. Hmm. Can't see anything here. chance to play. I actually hurt enemies. Of course, he's really not helping us all that much, is he? Because all of our attacks are on timers, we need to try and get these combos as best we can to hit everything. But we're so powered up right now, it doesn't really matter in terms of them hitting us. Made it through there. And this is just the opening uh, prologue. So, we'll get our real abilities in a minute. Uh -oh. Change things out here. Put that on. 
the tier determines it's kind of the damage output and the quality. Slam them down. <laughs> I should keep hitting guys with that hammer. <laughs> Cause I keep feeling I'm missing a lot. Anybody else here? Get those combos. We should be getting a level up soon? Or probably not in this section. Now there's one cutscene I'm going to be skipping, because it's very long, <laughs> and it's just a lot of dead time for the stream. Go, Daryl, go. We're doing with JRPG rules, so we're powered up for now, but won't be for much longer. <laughs> Slam. Damn you textbooks, get out of my way. now. Ooh. Yep, <laughs> just like less for the unlikely. Oh, come on, buddy. So all of our powers have now been fully upgraded. That's why I'm hitting with a rhino. <laughs> oh. It's a rhino hammer. <laughs> you just have to deal with the main guy with the hat on. Dead yet? Keep smacking with the rhino, he's not going down. Ten seconds. And strong. How about we go back to my place and I'll make you a big batch of cookies? Daryl? Are you listening to me? Daryl? Daryl? Hey! Have you heard a goddamn thing I've been telling you? <laughs> Son of a bitch. All right, we'll start over. Quit daydreaming and pay attention this time, for Christ's sakes. It all started 40 years ago. 
Alright. This is the cutscene we're going to skip because it's a good like five to ten minutes long and they talk very, very slowly. But now it is Basically it's Daryl's first day in high school. Basically, the two, uh, valed the valedictorian and the second one, went on to do great things, and in the process created the ultimate self-help book, which then led to, well, the apocalypse. And now everybody's kind of living after they all were awoken uh, from that craziness. But we're just here trying to make some friends. Darrow Hill doesn't really talk all that much. <laughs> yep, pretty much. It doesn't look like it now, but don't worry, it will um, make less sense in a few minutes. Oh, I just crushed a rat. <laughs> Alright, so we are heading to the quad. And there's our, I guess, mascot? Just as regular old, uh, and there are the two kids who led to world peace, and then led to the apocalypse. So this looks perfectly normal, right? Nothing out of the ordinary here. Let's see, things are just perfectly fine, the quad. We have some flowers too. And the flowers just happen to talk to us. Ooh. Get up there. There's a there's a squirrel boy. We don't need to worry about Squirrel Boy, right? And look, there's... I guess that's the moon. <laughs> Whee! So this is one of those games that's an exercise in just how weird things will possibly get for our friend Daryl here. all while collecting all manner of weird stuff and helping out our fellow students. UI. <laughs> I 
Alright, so this is where we'll be equipping our various items. As well as reading the prologue and getting more information about what's going on. Our abilities. <laughs> friends and not friends. And of course, this very easy to follow map. What do you want, buddy? Oh, good. This is just to get some free experience. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, yeah, come on. We need our PP over there. That's a very tall kid. In order to rank up. And get new passives. Though we'll be killing a lot of them as time goes on. And we stole five books out of his locker. skills to use yet. Here's our special book. I'm sure there's nothing ominous about that. says. She seems perfectly normal. So we're going to be finding textbooks in order to buy new skills. Let's see, what do we have right now? We just have discussed differences. Die, Fez. Right. And now by killing enemies, we get skill points which we can use to rank up our powers. There we go. And of course, the cost will go up as we get better skills, and they'll also transform too. So she's basically giving us the skill points we need. Ah. So now here's what a level 3 skill looks like. There we go. And we got ourselves a Fez. See, we're growing more and more powerful as time goes on. Hello, you regular people. Oh, I hope you like hearing the word Daryl a lot. Because they're going to be saying that probably every, like, 40 seconds. Alright, 
Where are we going now? Oh, where are you? <laughs> and that's what we need popularity for. As they'll give us again new passives, which let me see, do I rank up here? No, not yet. If we come over here, let's see, where are the popularity points again? Ah, here it is. We'll gain these new passives this way, and some of them are very powerful in terms of making the game easier for us. Let's see, do you want to say anything? What about Mark? <laughs> also, notice these very ominous looking uh, paintings right here. They are the honor rolls, uh, the honor roll students. <laughs> Oh, and the bathroom is where we'll be able to go and save. Yeah. And this is one of the weird quality of life features in Super Daryl Deluxe. There is no auto saving. You can only quick save or manual save from the bathroom. Anybody else wants to talk to us? We spoke to him. Let's see. Abby is still here. Any more from this guy? Good. And basically they're just giving us the basics here. I think there's one more person I need to speak to. And it's probably out in the quad. There you are. <laughs> and the different gear will have different passives that will help us out, such as getting lifesteal, there's some set bonuses, stuff like that. And here's our first weapon, a magic, a dried out marker, I should say. We look so mighty in that picture, right? Alright. That's everything we need. To move into the first of several crazy dungeons in this game. And even the art style is weird now, you haven't seen anything yet. kind of killed her pet. Alright. Let's help her out. Excuse me, uh, random warrior there. For some reason, this game kind of reminds me a little bit of Earthbound, just in like the surreal nature of it. Yeah, pretty much. Daryl is a monster. We just don't know what's going on in that crazy head of his. Oh, look, and there's Death. Aww. And I don't know who that guy is with the cowboy hat on. 
He's just there. Here you go, lady. <laughs> Alright, we got our first accessory. Oh, and look, the treasure chests have faces on them. Now that we got our key ring, we can head into the actual classrooms. So again, a perfectly normal looking classroom. <laughs> and now welcome to science. Oop. Apparently we're also going to be attacked by photosynthesis. <laughs> so it should go without saying at this point, but something strange is going on in this high school. It's going to be up to our man Daryl here to figure it out. We just went as Super Saiyan there for a second. I think probably both. Uh, be high and drunk. Now here's another little bit of a quality of life annoyance. You have to accept the quest. If that's a thing. But we also have to return to complete it. The various uh, items we pick up will be either used for quests or uh, for turning in for crafting related purposes. So now I have to come back over here. I think the quest has been completed. Hello? Make sure you get that money. Oh, look. We look so fashionable, don't we? Don't know why there's a Triceratops and Sputnik in the background. Uh, Cultist Simulator with all the cards. And now Benny Beaker here needs to die. Now the thing about Super Daryl Deluxe is that it is very much a stat heavy game, even though it doesn't look like it. If you are not close to the enemies in terms of level, they will wreck you immediately. Ren Stimpy Guy with a flute. Hmm. Huh. Stimpy Guy with the flute. Now I'm not sure which game you're talking about. Let's see, this should be a shortcut back. I'm just gonna unlock the shortcut right here really fast. Uh. You're not talking about uh, Ironclad Tactics, right? Oh, look. Take a look in a textbook. Ooh. Five bucks.
not sure which game now. I've played so many of them. Gmailed. Hmm. Now, very important, I'm gonna go and save. Oh, that one, the uh, Samurus. Samurus? I think whatever it's called. And this is just a game letting us know we should really save. So now I can buy a second skill. Makes sense, right? Uh oh, turning shades. Ow. While this boss fight is kind of on the puzzle side, the other fights are not going to be as much. Yeah, pretty much. He's being up a kid who he stole the money from. Get up there. But we survived. <laughs> hey you, new kid! How the hell do you expect to do Jim in those goddamn antiques? I don't know what he did. <laughs> this school used to be number one for every sports and club worldwide, you know. The president himself! Awarded this very gym class with the most admirable gym class award. First of its kind. That is, of course, until a little mouth breathing antique wearing Neanderthals like you came around and ruined it for us with your goofy hair and civil rights. The only thing you came with was your hippie ass sweatpants. As if you ever sweat a day in your life. Got anything to say for yourself, or am I just wasting breath? I'll go in the gym class, apparently. Right, let's see what we got access to now.
You know, these guys are just selling upgrades. $150 is actually very expensive in this game. I mean, we're in high school. Let's see. I think the world is this is this weird. Uh -uh. What's this? Uh -uh. And this is the music and art room right here. And we'll be exploring these places in a few minutes. We just need to find some quests first. Oh, the library is blocked off there. Hello, buddy. some lore for you. Alright, we've been over here. We can't leave the school either. some food. And these are kind of the collectible hunting comes into play. What does she want? Mm -hmm, I know that. But we can also basically destroy our textbooks. Because eventually we're just going to run out of things there. There we go. And I need a whole lot more experience. Oh. And our good friends here have some more work for us. Yeah, for us now. A lot of skills here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what skill should we get? Hmm. Right, let's go for the big old hammer, shall we? We'll have to complete each one of these tasks to move the story forward.
<laughs> That's good. Yeah, it's having a lot of fun, Jets and Guns, too. We're heading to our next area here. Oh, look at this guy. He wants us to collect broken glass. Nobody's in the paranormal club, though. There's literature. All of our normal students. do this fairly quickly. And we also get the spinach as well. Mm. If I fall, I will just take damage. There's no instant death here. Now I can kind of farm these guys. Give me that spinach. Oh, that was terrible. Two more pieces of spinach. One more. And we'll get a lot more abilities as time goes on. That's the spinach handle. Now you see the glass. Don't punch me. Are they going to be a pain and not drop that last one that I need? There we go. Now we can head up into the next area. The only thing that's annoying is that the game does have fast travel, but it doesn't unlock until about like 70% of the way done. So good luck with memorizing where everything is. Enough for the next quest yet, though. Right. Can't do that yet. Oh, what do you want? And there's our map right there. And again, it completely makes sense. What we're looking for is going to be that route upstairs. Oop. And again, you can see the <laughs> the uh, story synopsis. It gets pretty interesting as we get further in. Because it's all rim in basically Daryl's thoughts. Yeah, yeah. 
there's our next level. We should get enough for the uh, personality upgrade. There we go. Did it work? Oh good, we're now a pants wetter. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Again, it's a very weird game. But the mechanics do hold up. Like, there really is anything else like this. But it's not without its problems. Die, Fluffles. It's not nice when the rats pull a knife on me, is it? Thankfully, enemies do give you health. That gets explained later on. <laughs> there we go. Enemies will respawn when we leave an area. Oh, we got another textbook. Come on. Apparently you need to get that. Oh, we already got the quan. That's good. We have a big $5.33 right now. That's needed for our next quest. So. Again, because the game is so stat heavy, as we level up, these enemies go from being almost impossible to kill to being ridiculously easy. To the point where, like I said, you go to the wrong area, you can be one or two shot very fast. our mission here. Some enemies will engage you the second they see you. Other ones you can attack them first. Like what I'm doing right there. I'm not going that way yet. Those things will come up more as we get further in, as they will hide usually useful items or bonuses. Give me that cheese. And again, remember, I have to go over here to turn the quest in. I missed out on a lot of stuff the first time I played, because so I thought it would do that automatically for you. Give me some cheese. Yes, they do. Go away. There is a skill we can pick up that will allow us to heal without needing to kill these enemies.
That is 12-3-2. Yep. These are both better. <laughs> so again, to try and save time, we're trying to hit everybody at the same time. I still need... Oh no! Three more pieces of cheese. You like that run animation? So there's something up there, but we're not going to be able to get to it just yet. And it is very important to upgrade your items, or upgrade your skills. Because they do give additional functionality, and they just make them enough to start counteracting some of these enemies. But yeah, I don't... I think, like, very few people actually reviewed this game. I'm not even sure if, like, the major websites covered it. Let's see. We got a spoon. There we go. We're dual wielding a marker and a spoon now. We're so powerful. That pole. Going. There we go. We're in the upper vents. Usually, like one to two levels above is safe enough. Okay. Not gonna fight them anymore. We're going ahead. Those robots look so friendly, don't they? I think that's another time one, right? Yep. Yep. We'll get to those guys in a few minutes. Oh yes, this one. So this is one of those lovely puzzles where you have to figure out what combination to hit. Makes back with Satan. You'll all be sorry. But that's a pretty good quote there. Alright, now we gotta start flipping some of these off. Alright, that's the right way. Here's another well adjusted adult, I bet. <laughs> I don't think we have enough. Nope, only ten. Get to that guy in the middle. There. And look, it's a vampire.
This will help them out. Should we get into a shortcut very soon? Oh! Ah! Nasty, get up! Do you have any idea how expensive that duvet is? You're ruining it! You're ruining my bed! <laughs> and there's a girl living in the vents. She will play a role later on in the game. Meanwhile, let's see. We're not going there. Did I get Gabe's uh, Waffle Combo? No, I got Drew. Right. And we just steal from all the kids. And this guy's inventory will change as we level up. Right. So we're going to replace... Oh, we can't. Not yet. We have to level up. Hmm. Five, five, five. I still don't know where Gabe's locker combo is. I never found it. But let's turn this in. Get some more experience. Now there are bosses in this game, they do get quite difficult if you're not properly leveled up. Uh -oh. And we now have our first kind of defensive action as well. Oh, not the right level yet. Let's see. 
can't actually upgrade anything right now. Not the best, but it will get really powerful when we get a few more tiers. Alright, that knocks enemies up into the sky. We have two books. <laughs> when we hit level 10, we'll get those powers. Let's drop this off here. Now we begin the side quest uh, collection here of Super Dower Deluxe. As we're going to be going all over the school completing these quests, and it just somehow all works out for us in the end. Huh, what do they want now? And it's just best not to think about all the things we leave around. As again, these quests will somehow all work their way around. He's still trapped in his locker. And it is actually very important for me to save the game. And we really shouldn't need to have to buy equipment because we're killing so many enemies very fast. Or ideally, we'll be getting the most of our equipment that way. Alright. Nope. Alright, so he is level 8. I actually have to be a little bit careful around these guys. We're going to gain a ton of experience for fighting them at this level, but as, as you can see, they do a ton of damage to us. Some of the heavier enemies, I've been like too shy, as I said earlier. Kill him. Mm. But again, because of how the enemies react to you, it is just a lot quicker to get a bunch of them really close and then just hit the entire group of them. Oh, I saw something. At least we're getting our health back. Can I get up there yet? And there's only two kinds of jumps in this game. Hello, random person. Right, how many do we have to kill? Oh, and the game doesn't show you all the quests. Which is kind of annoying, again. Like, I think the people who made this game, this is kind of like their first full game. Let's see, did the quest show up? 
Okay, good. But if we get any more quests, they will not show up on this list. Not sure why this one guy keeps missing. Better play it cool here. Don't. We, we'll, if I survive, we'll be leveling up very soon at this rate. And the quest will most likely give us enough experience as well. But technically, I should not be fighting these guys right now. We're playing the smart. Ooh. I need four more. I do believe we get, like, double jump and some other crazy skills as time goes on. Did I get them from this angle? So again, the dangerous thing about this is if they all connect with me, I'm dead. This is actually a very useful strategy. As long as I time the jump properly. Come on. There must be a limit of the number of enemies that will connect at a single time. That's the only thing I can think about why it sometimes doesn't Hit them all the way. There we go. Farmy rat people. We. Oh. On the pause side, we'll get some better equipment. And yes, we will be returning to this area later on. Bring more of his pots as well. It'll go up to a big twenty dollars. Wait, does he have another quest? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think I can use that smock yet, though. No. And this one actually comes with a bonus item, too. Or a, a perk, I should say. Alright. We still need to find fuzzy meat chunks. very surrealistic here. And now we're going to be treated to one of the game's arena battles. We 
go. Ow. Damn you, Captain Sacks. I'm still getting good experience. Ow, my head. And that's a, a tuba ghost up there. Come on, hurry up. Like I said, tuba ghost. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're gonna have the time to kill them all. Maybe. Twenty five seconds. There we go. There we go, our Mexican jumping beans. Or one that we need. Now, I'm sure that big bandage will keep this going. <laughs> Open up that door into the giant hand. Oh, look, and there's that clay. Slado. <laughs> Ow. I gotta be careful here. Uh oh. Oh, we got killed. Wah wah. We killed Daryl. Unfortunately, it means that that quest was also resetted. I still don't know why they didn't implement like an auto save. I asked the uh, press contact and they just felt like they were trying to adhere to old school design. Which I think was kind of a mistake. And look, it's Beethoven. <laughs> exactly. to find some way to shut that music off. <laughs> okay, from the tuba goes again. And apparently there's Andy Warhol. Like I said, fighting enemies above your level is very dangerous, but it's the only way to quickly level up. Let's see. Fortunately, we can break all these notes for free money and health. Now there's a secret right around... Is it like right here? Or it could be in another spot. Oh, come on, Dara, why can't you jump higher? Oh, I think we actually have to come back this way, and there will be an item there eventually. And again, nobody pay attention to uh, Beethoven. Whee! Could 
be down there. Jump, Daryl, jump! Alright, there's our key. Is someone up this door? No. Once we hit level 10 and get access to the next tier of skills, that will also put us a little bit ahead of the game. That's good, and video game cameos. Time for a uh, escort mission. Get away from that. And jumping is going to be your prime way of dodging in a lot of cases in this game. Oof. Uh oh, not again. What I really need is a range attack. Uh oh, not again. I think we're dead. No. Yeah, our skills are not cutting it right now. And this is one of those games that gets easier the more you play. Just until you get to those higher tier skills that do a lot more. Let's see, can I even buy anything right now that will help? <laughs> uh, can't do that until level 10. I need a fourth skill right now. Fire Fist, Lightning, Let's see. forty five, twenty eight times three, fifty six. Ducky power. <laughs> Our basic skill just does not have all that much range in those things. Really? This only sold 45, co uh, 75 copies? Wow. Damn. That's that reveal on the PlayStation Store, right? And technically, this is a press copy. Alright. 
I'm just gonna snipe them down. Oh god. And yeah, this is like right around the time that the game gets very annoying, as you can probably guess. Hit level 10, it gets a lot easier. Then I think we get a big break until level 20. I don't remember. <laughs> Are they counting me with that? I have an idea. Let's fight enemies who are high level, but less annoying. Woo! I'm number one. <laughs> Alright, I need to upgrade. And it was a Kickstarter game as well. Alright. We have Lightning. We have the Hammer. Let's see if my plan will work. And the game doesn't really... Oh, hold on a second, I just want to see the chat there. Yeah, I don't know why this game didn't do better. Again, I don't really know who actually played this game. Die, mate. Nope. Aren't these guys a lot easier to fight? Take that. Slam. Now, the game... ...does get a bit annoying in the later half. It gets very fetch questy. But I don't even know how many people actually got that far into this one, to be honest with you. Yeah, I think they may have been banking on the unique aesthetic to kind of try and sell the game for them. I mean, the PR person who worked on this game, I think they did a good job because they got in touch with me. Because I didn't know about this game until they got in touch. I need to find another big group to kill. Hmm. Is one down there? Yeah, I know there are a lot of YouTubers like crazy with that ca character creation uh, for Soul Calibur 6. There we go. Can I actually use anything new? No. I gotta remember this UI again. Nine, no, not yet there. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Smack. Yeah, 
it's a, one of those games that, again, the people who played it like uh, Super Dow Deluxe. Like, that's why I play it. But how many people... Unfortunately, not a lot of people actually played the game. Or even gave it a first shot. We will preserve our save here. Sold somebody's uh, xylophone there. Well, that was some good damage. You'll find that if you can alpha strike these enemies, you'll it'll make life a lot easier. But you just have to get to that point. Oh. And this is a fast travel point right here. But we won't unlock that again until very far into this game. And definitely not enough in this stream. I'll spoil it for you right here. This is actually a very long game. I think it's good like 15, maybe like 15 to 20 hours. Alright Mojo, have a good night. They want me to kill these damn ghosts. Oh, I'm sorry. Good night, Dragon. I'm trying to read. <laughs> and uh, not get killed by ghosts at the same time. <laughs> the game is just too memorizing, isn't it? Again, gotta remember, turn the quest in. Right, I think we're strong enough that I can complete this quest. Oh, good, I can skip. And again, the best tactic get them all lined up and then just go to town with AoE based skills. <laughs> At least somebody's sleeping. This should be the near to the last group. Take a hint and go away, you guys. Die. And these guys actually play a role in the plot, too. Still alive. All right. Oh, yeah. Do 
just want to get this quest complete again. And we just want to quickly get this key. And we'll play a role later on. There you go, buddy. There you go, helping Beethoven. We also have the game's true first boss coming up in a few minutes. Right. Uh, still can't do anything here. But we can level up our skills. Die, lock. Peace and quiet. Oh. Ow. Oh, look at you. Oh, I can use the theater mask now. Are they better than what I'm using? I want to say yes. Normally I wouldn't buy these items. But again, to keep the stream moving along. That's 328. Yeah. So even with this... Even with only having the two hand, it's still going to be better for us. And then I think this is better than what I'm using. Look at us now. <laughs> There's a winning image. Now the thing is that the gear has absolutely nothing in terms of affecting how we play. Not the 666 musical trials. Hmm? We better save because it sounds like we're gonna be here for a while. Again, you can see that we do not have any more room for our quests up there. Alright, time for some music. Things easier, doesn't it? And bingo. One down, 665 to go.
these guys just keep stunning me. Oh good, symbol polish. And remember, we still need those Mexican jumping beans for our next quest. And you do have to grind in this game. But I guess the only reason why it's not too annoying is that you'll usually get the items when you need simply by killing the enemies that you're trying to level up. Oh, I got a new item. Can I use it? Uh, no. Who's this guy? So he just wants us to get a symbol polish. Which I'm sure will come from these guys. Mm. They keep getting bounced to the other side of me. I don't want that. Ow! I think this hammer is not going to be working out for us. Unless I use it just to like form enemies who are like stuck on something. Alright, something just completed. Do we get enough Mexican jumping beans? No. And of course... The, it's called the Maraca Brothers right there. I do like how they swing each other to try and hurt me. Um, we should find more of them in the next area, so I'm not going to waste a little more time. And again, the background's gone even more surreal as we get further in. Oh, level up. I think I can use something now, right? The armor. Mm. Yeah, I don't think we're going to need that. Yeah, I'll take it for more health. Ten, uh ten. -huh. Alright, that was trial number two. Oh! <laughs> well, at least we, uh, skipped ahead there, didn't we? Now, we actually have a little bit of a trial to do here. Let's kill them all. Uh -oh. Damn you, Captain Sax. My head. Die. This lightning seems to be working out pretty well for me, though. Yeah, skills I can hit everybody, which most of them are, are more 
are going to be worth their weight in gold. Because just because of the sheer number of enemies that are going to try and stop me. I should be able to upgrade again. Also, when you look right here, every time we get a star, it upgrades the skill to its next tier, and that's what changes it. So, like, this is going to upgrade, and it's going to change its functionality. And so is this. So now, when I use a skill, it's going to look a little bit different. Okay, not a huge deal. But it's just going to make it all that much better for us. And it's a nice touch again. There's a lot of creativity with the art style and the characters. And again, once we hit level 10... We're going to really start to push ahead in terms of our power. Damn you, saxophone. Those rubber duckies are now actually doing damage. And also knows how much slower our leveling is because we're fighting enemies equal to us in level. I just know he's great in the room. Right. Actually, we'll go in there after we're done with these guys. And yes, this is required. We do have to kill them all. There we go. Oh, who are you? Turn this in. We got another locker combo. And what was I doing? Oh, that's right. up here really fast and can I upgrade to one more tier mm, all right our normal punch is now at full level so it will not get any better is going to be our next boss fight. We now have the first of, I think, the game's four boss fights. And this is why I'm going to save really fast. It's time for me to die again. Mm -mm. 
And the story gets very dark, by the way, in this game. A lot of, like, the hidden stuff behind the scenes comes out to be some very uh, disturbing things in terms of revelations. Oh, great. It's a xylophone monster. Glockenspiel? Alright. Oh, here it comes. Ow. We're doing some good damage. But he's a very annoying pattern to fight. And here he goes again. Peekaboo. Yeah, this is when it gets annoying. Only kill him at a specific uh, animation. There we go. Eh, that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. But mission accomplished, and we can fight the bosses again to get epic loot, although it doesn't really mean all that much in this game. Alright. So now, we're going to find Leonardo da Vinci. Hmm. Can I open up that door up there? I don't think I can, but let's see. Nope. And now, we want to go back to that area with the clay monsters. And again, for sure, we're going to save. Because I don't want to fight that boss again. And I'm sure everybody watching doesn't want to see me fight that boss again. And yet, we had to do this. A few of these are optional, but the majority of them are required. I think this is going to turn out like another one of the like, Ghostbusters, the video game. That nobody's going to play it, despite how interesting it was. What a difference a few levels and an upgrade make, right? This time we'll do this the optimal way. There we go. That's a lot quicker now, wasn't it? got evil clay to fight. Slay the clay though, and I gotta kill 12.
despite the enemies being all weird in terms of how they move around, it is quite easy to dodge a lot of their attacks. Like, the hitboxes seem to be on point. There he is. Again, because we've leveled up, we also take far less damage from these enemies than we did when we were last here. I can now just kind of brute force my way through. I just need to kill two more. Anybody else here needs to die? They look like those little gleep things from like that old Hanna Barbera cartoon, don't they? Alright, that takes care of them. And again, I have to make sure to actually go to the map to turn this quest in. You have no idea how many uh, opportunities I missed because I didn't do that. I think I can use something else now. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this for the defense, actually. 10 10. This is a Khan, and he is part of another MacGuffin quest that appears later on. Hmm, look at this thing. An eat ball. Did we get our first uh, Fonzie meat chunk? Yep, we did. What do you want? We don't have burn, unfortunately. Die, you giant ball of... I don't even know why. And it's never worth your time to fight one enemy. You just will always want to get them in these little groups. That's why I'm trying to, like, push them all together. And the reason why I'm doing the uh, Sous Chef quest is that they actually give out a very handy uh, accessory. I think it's Lifesteal, or it may do something else, I forget. But I remember it being very handy. Right, one more. There we go. Mission complete. There's a lovely piece of art right there. Mm 
<laughs> I'm going to do this, because I forget, because I gave it to the guy in the last time I played. And this way we get a discount. 15, 10, and 10. Yeah, that's definitely better. Let's go for this. Hm. Right, that's completed, that's completed. And we're two more, we're two levels away from getting access to our next tier of spells or abilities. And this is still chapter one, by the way, for everybody watching this right now. It gets stranger. I hate to ruin the ending of the game, or at least partially, but because I don't think most of you are going to see it, the ending is kind of like a Super Saiyan battle. That is just crazy that you have to see to believe. Alright, uh, let's see. The clay guy was in here. Run, Daryl, run. Yeah, it really is a shame that more people did not see this game. I still can't believe Mojo said earlier that only 75 people have bought this game worldwide. I did ask the developers to come on for a podcast. I asked their uh, press person. And they said that they were just too busy to do it. Huh. I don't think that's really going to be necessary for us. Oh, and here's a new passive that we got. Max health increased by 5%. It doesn't sound all that useful, but we will eventually get access to lifesteal by completing enough of these quests. That and look, Dr. Watson. This is one of the main side quests that reveal more of the story about what's going on. Let's see. Ah, this. Huh. I think they must have patched out the music here, or it's either bugged. But either way, we don't have to listen to it, so that's good.
the glockenspiel talisman is used to fight the boss. Again, for a better loot. There's one. Oh, die already. Oh, we're getting the I am for the quest. There you go, Mozart. <laughs> Alright, let's see. So that's 14. So that's what, 27? And it's still, the nunchucks are still better. There we go. Can't do that. There we go, that's better. Ah, there it is. That's why I remember. You need all the parts of the boss after you kill him, and in turn, that unlocks. Uh, the boss fight again. Look at you. Mm -hmm. Also, pay attention to the name of this, because that pops up later into the game, too. Look at this guy. Mm -mm. So there's a key around here somewhere. Alright, where is the real key? Oh, there's another Glock and Spiel key. Somebody's gotta have it, right? Oh, we just got the key. Chapter 1 is coming to an end very shortly. We have one more boss fight in our way. Alright, that's his key. Oh, look at this. signs that brainwash me now I'm evil. <laughs> Alright. 
did something. So much nicer that music isn't blaring in my ears. Right. If I remember, the secret should be back in his office. There it is. All right. Now we get to rob him some more. friend here. Hmm. I think we have enough to upgrade. Oh yes, yes we do. Uh, let's go for you. Next here, it gets transformed. And then that gets transformed again at level 5. So we are officially done with the music room for right now. Anybody else did we unlock? A Ken. <laughs> All right. Does anyone see? Oh, let's turn this in over here. There you go, buddy. So what he gives us is the ability to find jewels, and the jewels themselves can be sold or used for, I think there's a very special door that needs every jewel in it. So we're going to put that on. Turn that in. Oh, now way. Mm -hmm. Oh wait. Was it Tim? No, no, it wasn't Tim, it was Ken. Here's another quality of life feature that would have been very handy. It would show us what lockers we have open or available on the map. Yes. I'll take this. I think the locker combos are fixed, so if you've already played the game, you kind of repeat and just grab everything immediately. Oh, level 12. There's the Paranormal Club again.
so we need seven pieces of clay dough. Well, fortunately, it won't take too long. people are watching this game live. Which I think is yet another issue about why this game didn't do so well. Yeah. Maybe what I mention on my top 10 list will get some more interest. Get back here, you. Hammer for a hammer. will give me enough, but we'll see. Perfect. Later on in the game, they introduce these giant troll monsters that are just damage sponges to fight. Fighting the beta bosses over again, eh, it doesn't really work, I think, in terms of a long-term goal. But by the time you're strong enough to just quickly kill them, you're older and be more powerful than the gear you're going to really be going for. Alright. So very quickly, we're going to turn this in. takes the level 5, or I'm sorry, level 4. I think this improves how much uh, experience we have for turning in books. Yep, there you go. And what is this? Oh, there you go. Not bad skill, but we can't use it yet. Here, I'm gonna kill these vent bats really fast. Those are some very evil looking bats, aren't they? Count gives us gives us life steal too. Let's see. Again, that's the fast travel, and there should be two like right here. Perfect. Okay, this should work. I can take the shortcut. She'll eventually build a way back up. 
that I'll use as a shortcut back to Upper Vents 4. Alright, so she wants a better instrument. There's our friend Beethoven. Napoleon. to inform you that the trial experiments have been a success. Every one of our subjects has shown overwhelmingly positive results. In fact, a small faction <laughs> of the more fierce lab mice actually broke out, crossed the Gulf of Mexico, and ruthlessly conquered a few families in a small neighborhood in Trinidad. They've raised a flag bearing your likeness, sir. We only await your approval to begin human experimentation. Have you been following our football team this season? Why, no. I have not, sir. It's been a tough year for our beloved Salmon. In fact, their record for the past few decades has been embarrassing, to say the least. It's taken a toll on the morale among the students. <laughs> That's unfortunate, sir. Their present record of 0 <laughs> to 37 is particularly embarrassing. Our efforts to improve the standard of education in this school can only go so far if we allow the student body to be represented by spineless failures. It's time we adjusted the current in favor of our salmon, don't you think? Agreed, sir. You have my permission to commence phase one. <laughs> mm -hmm. In addition, I'd like to see our team victorious for a change. Is this clear? It shall be done, sir. Excellent. You are dismissed. <laughs> I'm sure we can all agree this guy cannot possibly be evil. Going to the history room now. Oh. And 
and there's death again. We still haven't gotten that book spray either. Right, do I have enough for another upgrade? Right, I want to get. They want to go for getting that one, which we have enough books for. Alright, that's fully ranked up now. We'll go over this one, I think, too. So this looks perfectly normal once again. next set of enemies. Again, there's just so much creativity in this game that I'm really surprised that more people did not play it. Actually, gonna be a little bit careful here. These guys are again above us in terms of level. Don't dare spit on me. of the mortar actually has a face on it there. Alright. That's quest, and we got our mortar. Skip back to the camp. We'll save again after we turn this in, too. Alright. That's another quest complete. I believe we can now turn in the final objective for day one. Back 
here. There you go. Got a flute. Alright, we're going to turn in the quest. we retreat to our next boss. Look at this. head back over here really fast and this way I can turn in this quest really applies to the same word. There. And we still can't use that yet. But from here, it's time to fight our next boss. Something bad happened. Yep, this is happening again. Float like a tank, sting like a missile. Good luck picking your glasses out of your skull. Just gotta keep pushing him back. Phase. 
Come here, you little bastard. My ribs. As long as you can move fast enough. Is that correct, my spine or your spine? <laughs> and we got this thing. There we go. That is the end of day one. Right in here, boys. Just file on in. Why the janitor and the coach are like, I know we're all a little like down, the same exact models? I don't know. But from here on out, I want you all to just forget all that. Tonight's practice is a brand new beginning. Yeah, I'm sure some positive thinking will change our record right around. The hell are we doing here, coach? I'm missing a date for this. How is sitting in the dark supposed to make the rest of this worthless team play up to my level? Another one of your brilliant recipes for success, failing as usual. You never did have any faith in anyone but yourself, Chad. You gotta take my word here. You're all about to be a whole new team. No use standing here wasting time anyway. You boys got a long night ahead of you. After tonight, though, you pack of losers won't be able to disgrace this town ever again. I guarantee it. Now let's get practicing. Mm -mm. There have been reports <laughs> of numerous interferences within the classrooms. Interferences that are a result of the honor guard neglecting their responsibilities. I'm saddened that the distinguished title and perks that come with working beneath me does not seem to be enough to ensure quality performance among my young guardians. Most of them, anyway. I'm grateful that my science guard is as vigilant as ever. However, I can't afford any setbacks within the classrooms. I need you to pay my guards a visit and remind them of what's at stake. You betcha! <laughs> oh, one more thing. Among the interferences are reports of some student creating mayhem within a couple of the rooms. I'd prefer it if the honor guard attended to him, but until they begin fulfilling their duties again, I'll need you to look into the matter yourself. Can't have troublemakers running about. Does this student have a hall pass? <laughs> no, I would imagine not. Then I shall see to it that they are destroyed. I need you to simply keep an eye on him. But yes, if you catch him in the act of doing something drastic, you may destroy him. <laughs> you got it, buddy. You can count on me. <laughs> Here are friends talking again.
Now we're going back to history. Of course, the task list. Alright, so with the new day comes a bunch of new quests. And again, we do have to complete all the tasks on that checklist, or the story will not advance. So we should be on... Oh, we're still on part one, so we're not done yet. I think there's a total of three, maybe four parts total in the game. Alright. So where is that? Oh, there's our graphic designer right here. $20 for posters. I'm sure somebody's wondering where Daryl's parents are, and we never really find that out. There's you. Right, nothing in the classrooms. And just so it's not in my inventory, I'm just going to not take that quest. Because we don't really have the time to do the boss battles again. I know I'm gonna miss one, I can just feel it. Alright. Got a bunch of new skills available. But we can't do anything until we get to level 10. Anything over here? Hoping the last ones are upstairs or we're gonna be in trouble. Oh. Okay then. He wants deer antlers. something new. Alright. So what they're going to now show is a another little side content for Super, Super Daryl Deluxe. 
And this is basically a series of fights. It should be, I think, right around here. Basically what this is, is we have a series of challenges to go through. They may have different conditions and different enemies to fight, but we get new loot this way. But it's gonna cost money to unlock. Yeah, three levels above is kind of pushing it, I think. Ideally, we want like two levels above us to be fighting. So we'll just have to come back. Here. Mm -mm. All right, he wants us to blow stuff up. Find a lot more of those goblins now. He wants an instant bombs, right? right there. Here 
hear you. We got our first gen too. Let's see. Hm. Can't use it yet. Auto healing sounds really nice. These lovely golems are going to heal themselves. There we go. Now, where are we? Oh, we're on the other side of the battle. Enough what we need for the quest, so let's get out before I get killed. Oh. Eh, well, maybe I'll just fill. It should take me to level 10. There it is. Yep, that is definitely better. That's what that eye patch does. I'll keep that. But more importantly, I can now access the next tier of skills. So I'm going to take a uh, sliding by. Mm -hmm. One. Two. Can't use that yet. Let's see what we can mess around with now. Alright, so that's 35%. And go here. There. 40% for two. Hmm. That up. There we go. We'll have to start making some choices as to what skills we're going to use. You go there. So now we have a brand new set of abilities to make use of. See they'll hold out though. What I should be doing is trying to time the uppercut there, or the rock. 
or I'm sorry, a hammer to that attack. Yeah, what a difference these skills make, right? A little bit more powerful, and we can just really strike these guys down. There's two on the other side firing on us right now. Oh, we got the separating four hole. Oh, there you go. He just wants us to kill the mortars. There we go. Bingo. And like we said earlier, it doesn't make sense to fight these guys individually. We have about another 10 to 15 minutes, I think, left on the stream, so we'll see how much we can get done. Let's see, so we got that. Again, that's another fast travel point we just passed. I think the fast travel show unlocked really in the first part of this game. to get to level 12 before I can really switch things out. Julius Caesar now. Oh. This guy has some quests for us. <laughs> See the cat poster there? Fifteen. Well, this is a good opportunity to get some more experience. Look for those nurse fights. Ow. Oh. 
careful here. Uh. For emergency purposes, we're gonna head back and save. Because again, if I die, we lose all the progress. There we go. Convert a book, and I'm going to upgrade our hammer here. It's now considered tier one, so now it's changed into a sledgehammer. More importantly, it gives it a little bit more range. Now you can kind of do that. bulk of our upgrades. We're playing these lovely people in here. And this tells us what quest we can go and access. Which is a nice touch, and the game doesn't tell you unless you actually look there. Oh, and the game doesn't even let you see what progress you have unless you activate the quest. Again, just some really weird quality of life issues in this game. That's that. So now in each area, there are Kato to soldiers for us to heal. Let's see, can I use this right now? Oh yeah, definitely. So I have to... Unfortunately, clear the path. <laughs> because on the plus side, we'll get a lot of experience this way.
I don't know why that music sounds like playing while we're trying to get these guys <laughs> some morphine. I don't think this is the last one, though. Oh, he is definitely dead. Alright, we'll head back. Heal. They're just standing around doing nothing. very quickly. I could probably do the quest hall one, too. Creepy background, isn't it? Where is he? There you are. Oh, yes. There we go. That was quick. Get the lifesteal passive, the game gets a lot easier. Let's see, can this actually be of use? No. Hm. There's probably a build for having like those low health advantages, but I think that's just too risky in this game. Oh no. The music is starting up again. Still can't use this good stuff, right? No. Right. Oh, and all the characters had their own original bios as well. So, I mean, again, a lot of work went into this game that I'm still shocked that it just did not come back for them. finish up the other quests. If 
way over here. Don't remember if there's anyone on this hill or not. Oh. Nope, he's dead. Oh, you. You'll agree to slide those when you travel further. There's some fast travel. Back, turn it in. Ignore the skeletons on the ground there. Doesn't matter, we leveled up. And we're a few quests away from another rank up, too. Right, I want to see really quick because this is where I was too shy before. Specifically with these guys. See, the thing is, if I get too close, they do a lot of damage. Watch. Look at that. But if you can actually cheese these guys like this, I know I'm missing my, uh, that attack a lot. That is really effective. Hmm. I can't really tell. Are we getting a lot of experience for this? Ah, I missed again. Trying to watch experience and upper left. Getting a decent amount. Not a lot though. Gotta pick our battles carefully. Can we use 
use it? No, not yet. The game tries to gate you around pretty easily, but sometimes you do enter those parts where you're just massively underleveled. Oh, and look, it's Genghis Khan. Tree people. You guys aren't that tough to fight. They only have like one real way of doing damage to you. Well, it turns out trees are weak to fire. Who knew? <laughs> I think a few more groups should do it. Or they may just keep respawning. Let's see if Caesar can help. Or, I'm sorry, not Caesar. Genghis Khan. There he is. Kill five more of those guys. And I think after that, we'll probably say goodnight. And I don't know, for people watching this live or record, if you want to see more of Super Daryl Deluxe, so I think I may be the only person literally playing this game right now. <laughs> Watch them. Again, we just want to try and hit them all the same time. Three more pieces. I like that stun animation. just a little bit faster, we would be good. Yeah. There we go. Oh, we have more than enough uh, skill points to level up, too. Alright. Where is that locker? That's another bit of a quality of life thing. You, they should just really put everything in the single spot for you to make use of. Alright, so... That will go to the next tier. That can go to the next tier if we wanted it to. And they all can. Alright. Sure, why not? 
So now, that's a little bit bigger. That's a little bit more awesome, too. Alright, well, I think from here we'll wrap it up for the evening. Wednesday night we'll go to another game. I'm not sure what yet. But, for anyone who's watched this whole thing live record, thank you for tuning in. Definitely check out Super Tower Deluxe if you're interested. It's not... Like I said, there are a lot of little issues with it, but I can't think of any other game like this that came out this year. But if you are new, be sure to check out our Discord channel and Patreon link down below. I'll be back around 9, 30, 10 Eastern for our next stream. So everybody, have a great night, and I will see you all next time.